これが裏切り者の末路さ。暴力団にスケバンの心を打った刑罰だよ。サチコ、これで済んだね。その話は確かかいええ信用できると思います横田の米軍キャンプからピストル20丁自動小銃10丁この取引が成功した後30丁流してよこすと言ってますそのブローカーってのは信用できんのかい無所で一緒だった野郎です分かった全部引き受けよう早速連絡取ってくれはい God, I love movies. You know, there's times when I sit there and I'm like, you know, why do I like movies so much? And then I watch a movie like Girl Boss Gorilla, and I remember, that's why I love movies because this is like, this is like a Russ Meyer girl biker film set in Japan with ultra violence and girls who just walk around with yakuza tattoos all over their naked boobs. That's all this movie is. There is no reason for this movie to exist other than to show girls, the Red Helmet Gang. That's what they're called. And they decide to like go to a different province in Japan and take over the girl gang there. And for some reason, like when girl gangs get together, they do this weird thing where they like get real low like this, and they're like, "So I'm from Okinawa, and I'm going to take over your gang." And the other girl gets real low, and they do this pose. I don't even know where this comes from. I mean, I'm sure it's some cultural thing that I don't understand, and maybe I should read before I like do this part and like make an idiot fool myself. But what do you do? And the other girl's like, "You can't come into my province and take over the gang because I'm the gang, and I got the." And then they have like this fight where they hit each other with bats, but nobody ever seems to get hurt. And somehow the girls' shirts always come off, and they got the giant dragon tattoos all over their boobs. And it's like, hell yeah, we got giant dragon boob tattoos, and girls hit each other with bats, and they're not actually getting hurt. And these girls, they don't take no for an answer, man. If they're gonna sleep with you. They're coming to your house and they're sleeping with you. So, girls, my address is no, I can't really say it because my wife will kill me. You know, my wife. But uh, this movie, I'm telling you, all it is is a, an excuse to show girls beating up other girls, or beating up guys, or getting tied bound down by guys and getting whipped with bamboo poles and stuff like that until they're all red and sore and all sweaty and stuff like that. And the girls, like, they they take the one of the girl gangs. And they take over, and they get the boss from that one to be their new boss. And then all of a sudden, they're fighting with the yakuza because it's this—I mean, it's a story that makes no sense whatsoever. But you don't care because it's girls riding around on motorcycles without shirts and beating up guys. And why else would you watch a movie unless to see that? I don't know. I don't have an answer.